What's going on guys, Also here and welcome back to a brand new video. So, the new cards are out and I have no idea how to pronounce it and it doesn't help that it just says special item. So, we're just going to name the player and we're going to get along. Lopez, 91 overall. They have boosted these cards to the next level. 90 pace, 89 dribbling, 90 shooting, 87 physical and 83 passing. Now, the only problem with these cards are it's hard to link them. Obviously, with Lopez, it's not that hard, but the only person you can proper link him up with is actually Messi. That is really, really good. But at the same time, you're going to have to probably get... You're not going to have to get one of these. You're going to have to get two of them if you want to actually link it properly in your team. But he is going for 375k, and with those stats... I'm happy to pay that much. Five foot nine, meta height, high, high work rate. It's not the perfect attacking work rate. I do prefer high, medium. But at the same time, if I put stay forward on him, he should stay forward. Right footed, four star skill moves. I'm going to be able to do the Berber and the standing scoop turn. The four star weak foot as well. I'm going to be able to cut, on, cut onto that left foot and hopefully shoot with it. Now, I have got an engine chemistry style on him. He is obviously on 10 chem. 93 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. If this guy's not outpacing centre-backs, there will be problems, EA. 92 attacking positioning, 94 finishing and 90 shot power. If he can't finish inside the box, I really don't know what to say at this point. 82 long shots, 81 volleys and 93 penalties as well. 90 vision, 80... 80 crossing, sorry, quick maths. 93 free kick actually, 91 short passing, 90 long passing, and 88 curve. You can literally use this guy as a cam if you want him to. It's simple as that. His passing is going to be outstanding. He's going to be able to do those little cheeky over the top through balls. The little one two plays, the link up play should be perfect on this guy. 90 agility, 97 balance, 90 reactions, 96 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 95 composure. If this guy can't turn like a god, I'm expecting this guy to be able to turn like Messi or Neymar. I'm saying that he is five foot nine as well. And that's what I'm gonna expect. If it disappoints me, obviously I'm gonna say it. 98 jumping, A6 heading actually, him being obviously five foot nine. He'll be had out headering probably five foot eleven and below. I wouldn't go to the extent of six foot. 80 stamina is the number one problem on this card. He won't be lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes. You are going to have, obviously have to get a super sub for this guy. But there is so many super subs anyway in this game. For example, Ken, Adama, James, all those three are amazing super subs. And you can just sub him on when this guy gets tired. 94 strength. This guy's going to be causing centre-backs big, big problems. 75 aggression. It's not amazing, but I feel like he will still be fighting for the ball. And he will be winning a, like quite a lot of 50-50 still. Now, today I have linked him up with Messi and Perez. As I said, it's hard to link this guy up with, so I have to link, get Perez in there. I've also liked some Neymar, Akone, Mendy, and Rio in the team. I will be using Lopez in his natural position, the striker position, most likely up there with Neymar in a 4-4-2. But I also want to try him in a lone striker role, aka the most overpowered formation this year, the 4-2-3-1. So I will be playing him up front as well. But let's get straight into these games. So the one thing we always do when going straight into a play over, we kind of see how comfortable he feels on the ball. And look at that. He's taking all these little touches that I want him to take. And I can already tell we're in for a treat. Nice movement. Use that pace. Get around that corner. Fake shot. He's not going to get body from Rio because he has got obviously high strength. Doesn't get a 50-50 there by still challenging the ball. Now, how comfortable he feels on the ball? pretty decent the pace there looked nice as well it looked nice and fast but he couldn't just get away from Rio but we're gonna obviously still test him my god he does that drag back so fast it's ridiculous that's a beautiful one too can I get a near post finish as well he did obviously call out the keeper a little bit which is very very good from my opponent obviously cutting down the angles but at the same time do I believe that should, should be a finish 100% Lopez. Unbelievable piece of skill. Can I get the angle? Can I get the shot? We do obviously get a bit lucky, but at the same time, he created that chance all by himself. And that is something I love. Look at him interacting with the fans already. Don't get too comfortable. Relax, relax. But yeah, a bit jammy goal, but at the end of the day, a goal is a goal. I like how he sits in front there. You see how he goes into like a false nine sometimes just to come and collect the ball to obviously start the attack. I like that a lot. Why not? I've gone for it, and that is exactly why you should not go for it. <laughs> okay, I was a bit ambitious there. I wanted to absolutely smash it into the back of it from a long shot, but at the same time, it didn't go as planned. 
Beautiful fake shot. Can I get a shot with the left foot? I'm telling you, sometimes when I shoot with that left foot, it doesn't feel comfortable at all. Now, the animation he got here wasn't too bad, but I don't know. I feel like he should be going more into the corner there. Through the legs. Beautiful touch. On the turn. Use that left foot. And finally, the left foot shot has gone in. It took his time, but it eventually got there. And it's an unbelievable finish. Top bins. Pick it out. Hill to hill. Can I get a power shot near post? He hit the post. Very, very annoying because it was a good angle. He did so well. The little hill to hill to obviously get the angle. But I just couldn't finish it. Once again, hill to hill. Fake shot. Bring it back the same way. Go for the power shot. I don't know what's wrong. That is a clear chance. That should be going in, I would say, nine times out of ten. An amazing drag back. But the accuracy and power behind the shot is just not there. Look at his footwork. Unbelievable. Go for the finesse. He's finishing ability. And I don't know. I really don't understand why. He's so, so bad. Look at that. Come on now. That's amazing. What a fake shot and what a finish it is. Finally, I do get an amazing finish from him. It took its time, I'm telling you. I've had so many shots of this guy and the ball is just not going into the back of the net. And I'm starting to think that he's more of a cam than he is a striker because this guy's passing is incredible. But look at this rocket. Top bins. He ain't going to save that one. One thing I am noticing, though, is he runs offside so, so much. That was my fault. I kicked RB by accident. But basically, he runs offside so much. He makes a lot of runs, which you could obviously argue is a good thing. But I'm telling you, when I'm forward, like right on the edge of the box, this guy's making a run to purposely be offside. And that's why I'm starting to think, this guy, I'm about to put him at cam and not striker because this guy is not striker. No way. That's an amazing turn. Can I get a finish? He is starting to get into that finishing role. Finally, it took him a bit of time. But that touch and turn, it wasn't smooth. I, I can admit that. It wasn't, like, amazing, the touch and turn. But it did the job. And, obviously, the finish was unbelievable. Make a run there. Fake show around the corner. Use that acceleration. Keep it in. And that is a big problem I am having with him right now. His touches when running and trying to go like twist and turns while obviously running is ridiculously bad. The, t the ball goes way too far away from his feet and it doesn't allow me to go around these tight corners, which I obviously want to. That's a beautiful run straight through the right back and obviously the centre back. Going to try to go around this corner. Very close quarter dribbling, but just gets tackled. Very unfortunate, but you can see how comfortable I feel. When he's walking, he keeps it very close to his feet. That is something I can admit. But when he's running, he doesn't really. Nice. Absolutely destroying the opponent, and he can't get the finish there. I was actually hoping for an outside foot shot because he obviously does have the trait. But somehow, someway, he doesn't finish it with it. I have no one. I have no idea why. So it is time to review him. And let me say, is this card worth 375k? No. 100% no. His finishing is so, so inconsistent. I would even say the good angles sometimes uh, go in, but... I, I would be lying, 100%. This guy is literally a 50-50 in front of goal. He hits the post a lot. He misses clear-cut chances a lot. Would I advise you guys getting this guy as a striker? No. Now, if we're talking about Cam, we're on a whole nother level. 5 foot 9, unbelievable. He feels very, very agile on the ball. The high, high work rate was a big, big issue which I was having. The fact that... He was just making these irrelevant runs, and I just don't get why. He made, he made good runs, I must admit that. But there was times where I was just standing in front, waiting for him to come short, and he's standing offside. Like, what, what can I do if he's standing offside? I can literally do nothing. Now, the four-star skill moves, the Burbs win, obviously was my favorite on him. The four-star weak foot, time to time, it felt like a four-star, but it was as inconsistent as the right foot. It was sometimes a three-star, sometimes a four-star, if you know what I mean. Pace. He feels fast, but I wouldn't say he feels 95 sprint speed, 100%. Finishing, those shooting stats, 100% are a lie. Passing stats, 
unbelievable. The way he does these over-the-top through balls, the way he does these little flicks around the corners, the one-two, the link-up play was crazy good. Now, dribbling-wise, he feels really good on the ball when just, like, moving your left analog stick. But when you're running with him, oh, my God. Don't even try to turn when running with this guy because it won't go well. The ball goes so far away from his body. Now, stamina-wise, I tell you what, this guy was dead, completely dead in, like, the 70th minute. You have to get a super sub for this guy. Strength. I didn't actually see 94 strength. I saw him actually sometimes getting bodied off the ball. And I was confused. I was like, where's this 94 strength coming from? Because I can't see it. 75 aggression as well. He was fighting for the ball. That is one thing I can admit. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him, but I didn't in other aspects, if you know what I mean. I am going to give him... I'm going to give him a 7... Mm, I'm going to give him a 6.5 because I don't believe this guy is a striker. 6.5 is a striker. As a cam, I'll give him like a 7.5, 100%. But as a striker, 6.5. I can't give him any higher than that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.